Okay, I'm here on step 41 of Free Code Camp's new responsive web design's third project, Learn CSS Colors by Building a uh, Set of Colored Markers. So we're going to change the class names here from 1, 2, and 3 to something a, more dis uh, a little more descriptive what, of what's going on. Instead of just saying this is the first marker, we're going to just say this is the red one. So you kind of get an idea of what the CSS is actually supposed to do. So now we're just going to change that class name from 1 to red. And now we're going to actually make the marker red by setting that red um, part of that RGB to the max value of 255. Next, um, we're going to change 2 to green and then 3 to blue. And just like we did for red, we're going to change these class names. OK, so next, um, we can use something a little bit different from RGB to change the color of um, or to make it green. And so we're going to use something called um, the hexadecimal value. A lot of people, it's more commonly referred to just as a hex value. And we're going to learn a little bit uh, more about hex in the next step. Um, but really, all we have to do, um, it's, uh, it's very similar to RGB. We just don't write out that whole um, RGB and then all the, the numbers um, in here, like 10, 43, and then 22, like that. Instead, what we're going to actually do is just we do um, like a hashtag or pound symbol. And then all we want for red, if we want no red, is just zero. And then we have all the green is FF. And then if we want no blue, another two zeros. And there we go. We get that same green that we had before. And so here is actually the hexadecimal. So, um, so using 10 numbers, so zero through nine, it's 10 digits wasn't enough. And so um, they added A, B, C, D, E, F, so six letters. So... 10 plus 6, 16, that's where the hex comes from, 16 values. And so 0, 0 is nothing, and then FF is all of it. But we don't actually want um, no, this super bright green. We want to get that um, if we do 7 and then F. And actually, by the way, you can do lowercase letters, and it does the same thing. It has the same effect. Um, but we'll just use 7F, which is, as you can see, 7 is not um, as far to the right as F, which is the max. So you can think of FF as 255 and 0, 0 as um, 0. So another way that we can, another color model that we can use is HSL. So it stands for hue, saturation, and lightness instead of red, green, blue, RGB. And so what we can do is um, um, I can actually, I have a, a picture of a color wheel right here. And so we can see um, we're going to actually choose um, num values from, I think, 0 to 360. Um, yep, 0 to 360. Um, and so if we can just think of uh, uh, zero degrees as red at the top here, and then we go a little bit to the right, um, we get 120 as green. So this is one third of the whole circle. And then another third uh, over at 240 degrees, we have blue. And then if we go all the way back to 360. We're back at red. So we can use HSL. So it's very, very similar to the way we do RGB. We just write HSL instead. And then we have to describe what... Um, how many degrees do we want? So we want 240. And so that's our hue. And then that's going to be blue. And then we want 100% saturation. So we'll just type in 100%. And then lightness, we'll just set it to 50%. And there we go. We've got blue, just in a different way of uh, going about it. And so um, another uh, way that we can uh, set color or our background is by using a linear gradient. So this is actually going to create an image when we use it. It's not going to work uh, quite yet. We're going to have to do, go through a few more steps. Um, but the way um, we're just going to write linear gradient and then, um, or actually we're not going to do that quite yet, but um, we're just going to keep that RGB, but we're going to just say it's the background. So we don't always have to do background dash color. And now is when we're actually going to write out linear gradient. So linear dash gradient. And so we're going to choose 90 degrees. Um, and that's the that's the, the, the line that we're going to um, to the first marker. Um, and so we're going to continue um, after this uh, 50th step.